Hello, this is Kevin Barham. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way that you can secure your WordPress site uh, using a free plugin. So here I am, WordPress login page. I've got a fresh install of WordPress. So I'm just going to log in here, put in my password. There we go, we've logged into the back end. Before I install any plugins, I always make sure I've got a current backup of my site. Now, obviously, it's not as critical with a brand new site because there's nothing to break. You can just start again. But if you've got an established website, then I suggest you take regular backups. I use a tool, a, a plugin, premium plugin, so uh, you have to pay for it. But I think it's something like $7 for one site. And I take a backup of my site before making any changes, doing any updates, etc. Uh, I won't bother in this instance. So we're going to install a plugin. So we go plugins, add new. And we're going to do a search for a plugin called Better WP Security. Click search. Here it is at the top. I always like to click on details. Make sure that this is current for your version of WordPress. And when you're happy with that, click install. Activate the plugin. That's the plugin installed. Now what we need to do is go and configure it. And over here on the left, you'll see a new menu item called security. If I click on that, first of all, it's going to give us an option to create a backup of our database. Now, the tool that I use backs up the entire site. This particular option here only backs up the database. So that, that's the, the difference between the two. But we can create a backup, and it will send it through to my admin email address. There we go, that's the backup complete, and up here we get the message, database backup completed. Now we need to give this plugin permission to change core files. So I'll click on that, and then we're into one-click protection. And if we follow this one, secure my site from basic attacks, and then it tells us the status as we are at the moment. For example, our username is admin. And, of course, that's the default username with WordPress. Anyone could guess that, which would mean that they'd only have to brute force attack on your password. Uh, so if we change that, we just click here. So I click there to rename, and I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to give it something uh, like this, admin951 and the at symbol. Uh, just because it's difficult for someone to guess that. You just come up with your own username. It doesn't even have to have admin in it. Uh, it could be your own name or whatever you like. But try and make it a little bit obscure. And then click change admin username. There we go. It says successfully change the admin username up here. Uh, and it also tells us that if we're logged in as the admin, this will, of course, mean that we have to log in again because our, our name has changed. So just to prove that, I'm going to click here on the dashboard and you'll see it will take us to the login screen. There we go. So I'm going to log in this time with the other name that I just put in there, but the same password that I had previously. Click login. That's my robo form trying to remember the info for me. So here we are, logged back in. Let's go back to security dashboard. And you can see that the admin username has been removed, so we've changed that. That's good. Moving on down the list. It's the ones in red that I focus on initially. So uh, the user ID is 1. That's, again, uh, a bit of a vulnerability. So to change it, I click here. And I confirm by clicking here. You can read all of this in your own time, of course. Up here, successfully changed user 1 ID. Back to the dashboard. Table prefix is WP. That's the default uh, with my hosting company and Fantastico. Um, so again, we should rename that. We click here. And we've already taken a backup, but it's warning us that we should take uh, a backup if we haven't done so already because this could cause problems. Um, so I know I've got a backup. I'll click change database table prefix. There we go. And it's changed the prefix to this obscure string. Uh, so nobody can guess the names of your tables in your MySQL database. So now we go back to Dashboard. And continue on down. I'm just looking for the items in red. The installation's not actively looking for changed files, so I'll click to change that. 
and I'll enable that save options back to the dashboard and there we go and that's all of the red items have been taken care of and then you can work through and um, decide which of the other ones you're going to do some of these tell you that um, you see the the items marked in blue may cause conflicts with other themes and plugins so it's something you need to test but providing you've got your backup beforehand you shouldn't have any problems rectifying any problems that may occur uh, although doing just the basics as I've just done there I haven't ever had any problems so that's it so I recommend uh, as you're doing it read every page read what it's uh, telling you that it's gonna change and if you're happy with it continue until you've got your website secure that's all for now. I'll talk to you soon.